equipment, for example, that, uh, that you might have different preferences on how you would set it up. So, and these are things that we talked about. You can, in accounting software, you can do a little bit more of this for the, the way the balance sheet will be constructed by using kind of sub accounts. So we talked about the idea that we might want just one, you know, section for all the property, plants, and equipment and one account for accumulated depreciation, or we might want a separate accumulated depreciation account for each of the categories of the property, plants, and equipment, possibly tying out to the amortization schedule, possibly done in the in the tax software and using that as basically our guide for breaking this information out. So in accounting software, you might make this like a parent account and this is a sub account, and that would give you this kind of breakout of the furniture and equipment, and then the accumulated depreciation giving you the net of the two, which would then be the, the book value. So this is often an area that's messed up that people don't do quite right or, or have problems with because of these contra accounts, which actually bring down the, the balance of the assets. And that's often something that throws people off when they're adding this to, and they're also kind of get confused as to how they want to display. How do we want to display the, the book value and the, and the cost and so on? What's going to be the best format there? So we got those here. They, they're going to add up this way. So that looks, looks good. And then we've got our total property, plants, and equipment, which is the sum of the two book values for the two categories that we have. Total assets then being the current assets and the property, plants, and equipment. I can double check each of these categories by taking and just adding up or selecting these items. There's the 133756. Uh, Here is the 93027. And notice how nice that is to do by having the credits be negatives here formula wise. And then if I do the whole thing, summing up the whole thing, we get to the 226783. So that looks correct. I'm going to undo all these and let's do the same thing for the liabilities. I'm just going to go, all right, there's current liability accounts payable. Looks good. It's being picked up over here under the current liabilities. We've got the visa. Now, the visa is something that we might not put in place as same, simply a credit card. I mean, like a visa, we might call it something like a credit card or other current liabilities or some generic category like that. If we had multiple credit cards, we might combine them together. You could possibly do that with accounting software by uh, having a, a sub account possibly to clean that up. And then we're going to say that this one is going to 